hello hello my love bugs once again it's your girl Lumi love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you heart not your heart for i'm just the messenger and we're all here to witness and learn thank you guys for the likes subscribes the shares and views oh excuse me everything is greatly appreciated my loves let's go ahead and get into it all right so we did our first two downloads for the night. Y'all can check those out. They're pretty interesting. Okay, and now we're going to get in the third. Now, the third one that I got was um, somebody is doing footwork to actually, like, gather up people, rally up people to gossip against you. Um, Right after I saw, like, in the last reading, right after I saw, like, the girl blow up, like, the girl in Willy Wonka, like, get really big, and they rolled her off, and then it was somebody in the background that was running back and forth very frantically, trying to tell everybody that it was your fault. It was like, everything that happened is always this person that's running around frantically in the background, making sure that everybody knows something is your fault, something is your fault, and it's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but this person is, like, doing footwork and gossiping. I don't know. They're looking crazy, I'm pretty sure yeah they're looking crazy but they're looking for an opportunity an outlet they're looking for someone else who doesn't like you either <laughs> it's like this person just needs to gossip about you oh my gosh yes yeah, like that would just be this person refuses to take you for who you are this person refuses to look at you for who you are this person refuses to accept you for who you are miss ace of cups energy this person doesn't want to accept the fact that you're going to get everything you wanted in life and they're not. They're the stalemate. They refuse to believe that. Okay, it's kind of like with these five of one. I mean, the six of ones. You got people in the background looking. Like people can clearly see that you're succeeding, and this person is still running around like a chicken with the head cut off. Is what I'm hearing, um, or with the blindfold on because you won't pay them any attention, y'all. This is crazy. Look at this. These two cards came out back to back. Okay, same picture type of deal. Get the fuck out. This person wants your attention that bad. It's like you riding off into greatness. And this person is just like trying to set up some sort of roadblock in the in the in the, in, in front of you so that they can try to stop you. Solely based on mouth. No truth, no facts, just mouth. They're mad you got your guard up to them. They want to put a block in front of you and your success. This person is at a standstill with finances and they're upset that you're about to have a, an overflowing cup of abundance and they're mad because you're guarding it. You're standing your ground. So this person feels like, y'all, what the hell? Listen, <laughs> okay, you got the Queen of Pentacles right here and then you got the Ace of Cups, right? And you're blocking the Ace of Cups from this person. This feminine feels like I got money, maybe, and I want to put my money in the wishing well to get what i want so i'm getting like this person may have something already but they want what you have they won't be satisfied until they get what you have they want to put a guard up in front of you it's like, like maybe you're riding your way to where they are and this person wants to put up a block in front of you they want you to financially juggle they feel like they're smarter than you they're better than you they want to hold you back and now they all stuck in their head, don't know what to do because I'm thinking that wealth that they thought they had, yep, that wealth that they thought they had, they lost, trying to block it away from you, they have completely lost it. This person is just going around talking about any, like, talking about you to anybody because they couldn't end finances for you and people see you truly for who you are. Who is this Empress? Yeah, she thought she was smart enough to come down and cut you down from your commercial success. This person tried to do some sort of manifestations or some sort of power so they could just been speaking with the power of the tongue. Or they could have been actually doing magic on you to try to get your new start. It's like this person already has something, but they feel like they need to dress it up like you in order to get everything. This person is having endings for trying to cause you endings because you're successful. All right, so this person, since you walked away from them, I'm hearing life hasn't been right for them. 
because they were too busy. Okay, you walked away from them and then this person decided to rage war against you and do a whole bunch of spiritual shit that obviously turned out uh, not working in their favor, but working for yours. I'm hearing a transmission of energy. You have that power. So whatever this person did, invested to try to take from you, you it's just been building up in your bank is what I'm hearing. Big bank, big bank take uh, little bank is what I heard. Okay, this person wanted the inspired, well, aspired to look just like you, do what it is that you do. And they wanted to breadcrumb you in the process. They wanted to, it might be in a person that wanted you to work under them, wanted you to like to kind of kiss their ass, maybe make them seem like they're the almighty, all knowing. I know that sounds crazy, but this is what the type of time this person is on. Because, like I said, this Queen of Pentacles, she already had shit. She already had it, but you just getting up there close to her had her feeling some type of way. So now she feels like she needs to go around and gossip and tell people things about you so that they can stop dealing with you. Yeah, and they can continue to take opportunities. So this might be somebody who's in the same business as you or... Yeah, I mean, they might be in the same business as you because why else would this person be worried about your money? Why is this individual worried about the collective's money? Yeah, this person is in the same business as you, so maybe this person, you know, for some of y'all, this person could be like a supervisor or a manager, and now you're about to come up for that position. Or this could be just someone who was doing exactly what you were doing, and now you have your own little twing to it, and they feel like you coming up fast because you do yours a little different, so they need to learn how you do yours, and then talk about you so that they can bash you. What does this person, I mean, talk about you so that they can um, get you banned or something? Hidden knowledge. This person is trying to find out some hidden knowledge about you, okay? So they're going around maybe asking other people about you. Because she wants to kill your image of you being very wise, charismatic, loving, a leader. All right. She doesn't like that you're moving so swiftly up the ladder. She's trying to stop it. So she's trying to find some sort of hidden information to do so. So she's maybe going around asking people, fishing for a bone is what I heard. Going around asking people, hey, do you know about this? Do you know about that? Do you know what this person is doing? I'm also hearing this person could be spiritually spying as well, trying to see how you're moving forward. They just really want to cause chaos for your money. They don't want you enterprising. You already know this, though. You have hidden knowledge on this person already. So that's why you're ignoring them. You're not accepting any of their apologies or offers. Oh, I got to get my card. Hold on. Okay, I got it. But it was the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, yeah. I'm just here trying to find a bone. The bone collector. Maybe we talk about this bone collector again. This person needs to find out or some or I'm hearing find out some sort of scoop about you so that they can change your fate and defeat you. What is wrong with this person? They're heavily burdened because of what? Your strength. <laughs> this person has tried plenty of other ways of attacking you and they just can't knock you down and they're just stuck in their mind. They don't know what to do. It's like their mission in life. These people don't even... Whoever this is, the moment they met you, they felt like their mission or they met you or saw you or whatever. They felt like their mission in life was to end you. So they've been attacking you since then. So whenever you maybe got into whatever career this is, this field, got on a certain platform, this person just felt like they needed to attack you. They don't want people to love you. They don't want people to listen to you. Give me something else on this person because they're not even worth my tarot for real. Yeah, these people are just upset because you're in a high vibration and people want to work with you and you're amused. Like this person is even calm when they listen to you and they don't like it. <laughs> All right. Their success, they feel like they're going to lose their spot, lose their success. No one can be up there where they at. No one can make money like them. They have to make it all. They have to be the almighty. I'm telling you, this person is ha, has a, what is that? Some sort of complex. I can't think of it. They take money from their friends. Maybe if this is a platform and they have people that follow them, they take money from them. They get, okay. So this person doesn't want people, ooh, <laughs> kind artists. This person does not want people to grow or listen to you. They don't want your fan base to grow. 
okay because they are liar because they're a liar because they're fake this person does hexes and curses on this friends group or whatever in order to get money yeah they do love spells okay now these people are starting to awaken to who's the true divine feminine in the situation high vibrational person all right and this person may have had other people try to help them set you up these hunters okay maybe these people on this platform or at this job they do work a certain type of way and you came in doing it different but the right way people are recognizing you for your work and these other people are recruiting each other or getting with each other to try to knock you off the ladder because they have been doing these love spells on people for a while and now it's being exposed no one's gonna be able to do it no more so we need to shut the one up that's telling everybody what we're doing so we can continue to get this money keep uh what causing illusions for the masses is what i'm hearing yeah it was unexpected for you to come in and these people to start waking up and figuring out yeah they doing some shit to me something ain't right i don't need to listen to these people so now they're coming to war yeah because it was always misinformation about a divine union just to keep these people tricked just to keep them uh you know in in turmoil like somebody will tell you oh your divine partner is out here dealing with his karmic and she he's not but that would oh look at 11 11 i'm telling you no lies y'all got some ancestors out here that's pissed with some of these readers because they y'all are not in y'all's divine unions because these people are lying to y'all so you have to use your discernment when you're listening to readings okay i don't give a damn if i make you uncomfortable bye love <laughs> i don't want you not you know i want you to make it the way you got to go this is the type of feminine or the group of people these hunters all right they just want your money all right kind artists look they wanted you to be at a breaking point and need help need some money and now they're at the point where they're having blockages because these people are starting to see that they always have their hand out i'm just saying this is not for everybody but it is a couple people about a cash app being very codependent always saying i got these problems i'm this i'm that but i'm blessed and i'm chosen but you always got your hand out for your soul tribe um that's for a couple people that's specifically what i heard the holy spirit said that is the truth specifically a lot of y'all thought stuff was sweet out here y'all thought y'all could play people but now these people are beating the eyes okay they are beating the eyes these people are not no longer okay that's what voodoo doll is i'm here i'm your puppet these people will no longer be your puppet okay they will be going toward their divine union there's and and their spiritual contacts breaking oh i mean contacts okay contacts so spiritual contacts so some of these readers just know who they say they are okay I'm getting, we're getting readings because we're talking about divine unions and everything. Okay, boom. Holy Spirit also said, yes, we're talking about divine unions because a lot of these feminines are holding up divine unions. But another thing about it is, let's say you do hair or you do nails or you create clothes. They, you're in your life's purpose and people like this, groups of people like this, like let's say you do hair. It's a group of people who could be working in a hair salon that do witchcraft on everybody. To make sure that their hair salon is the only one pumping in the city. You feel me? Only one getting opportunities. That way that they're keeping you from your divine union. Your uh, your divine union, a.k.a. your uh, life purpose. Which is doing hair and becoming a good stylist. And becoming one of the best stylists. And you know what I'm saying? So it's just about people who continuously have their hand out. Always need help. Um, But just really act like they're spiritual. I don't know. It's kind of to the point to where a lot of people who are really spiritual and tapped in are receiving gifts, are receiving their blessings, are receiving justice. So if you kind of see a person still struggling, still going through even worse stuff, you might want to back up off that person because that just might be karma. This is the message that kind of like you can literally tell a spiritual level up. All right. But it's a lot of people who are coming out, speaking about these readers, speaking about what they're doing, helping the soul tribe, helping these people uh, elevate and they're receiving karma because they were just in it for the cash all their secrets are coming out all right uh need protection they may need protection head getting cracked open the world i'm getting their take their their spiritual gifts that they had are being taken from them because they misused them all right so that might be another reason why this person is going around talking about you trying to stir up mess about you anything that goes wrong they want to blame it on you and say that you're doing it to them because they can no longer receive money from this soul tribe so they don't want you receiving money from this soul tribe they think they're being slick and sneaky but the holy spirit is watching them watching them go around in this karmic devil energy trying to third party off your stuff uh third party off your stuff is what i'm getting they're getting other people to work against you in the same field or doing the same thing that they do 
uh, getting them to work together, maybe to cause some endings for you, but you are spiritually and divinely protected because you are a true divine feminine. There's no lie. There's no cap on it, okay? Your prayers are being answered. You have favor. You're receiving your blessings from work. These people have no idea that you had to put forth and move forward. You know what I'm saying? It's like you did your work prior to getting into this career. This is just where you're supposed to take off, and this person is just upset about it. So whatever you're doing in your career, you're moving forward. Keep going. All these people that's running around trying to, like, it's kind of like sometimes if you feel like dang is somebody talking about me or you might think about a person that you may have had a problem with before um had an issue with before you know what i'm saying and they just keep popping up in your head it's because they checking they checking for you and like 21 savage say don't check for me unless you got checks for me they ain't got no money for you they ain't got nothing that's of, of, of interest to you then you know don't don't come checking for me so whoever this is they'll be okay whatever they just going around gossiping doing footwork trying to get in your business trying to see what you got going on trying to dig up some dirt and they can find nothing and they'll continue to stay in the dirt as long as they continue to dig all right y'all this is it this is all let's close this out and then i'm just gonna do a random shuffle let's see what else we got for tonight before i go all right so meet me in the next one